Oh, where did the alphabet go? And where did puzzles go? We need to find them. And we have beautiful crayons. So let's start and let's pick our first crayon. And the first crayon that we're gonna pick gonna be that yellow crayon. So let's shake and open. Wow, so many things we have here. So let's try to find the alphabet letters. Okay, we have three letters. And we also have pieces for the puzzle. But let's start with the letters. So here we have letter D. And let's do it. A, B, C, D. And it's a green color. And here we have letter F. And let's go through the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F. Great. Well done. And it's a blue color. Letter. And here we have letter cold. And you know it. It's letter E. And let's go. A, B, C, D, and F. E, great! We found three letters, and then let's continue with the puzzle. So what we have here, I think it's a spaceship. Okay, let's check, take the body of the spaceship, and let's try to place like that at the moment. And let's see, maybe we should turn around, and then turn around again like this. Hmm, <laughs> seems to be... All right, and then the next thing that we're gonna take, gonna be the rocket engine. Let's place here the left wing, right? Here we have the right wing, great. And let's take that, hmm, where we should place. Here's the tail that is gonna connect with our tail, right? So let's take the tail. Here we have a fire, great. And the last one, it's the front body of the spaceship, and great! We've completed this puzzle really quick, well done! And let's open the next crayon, and the next crayon that we're gonna open gonna be that pink one. And, okay, here we have only letters, so let's learn about them. So this is letter M, M. So let's go for the alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. And here we have letter N. And where we should place the letter N? Not after M. M, not. Great. And the next one we have letter O. Oh. So it goes right after letter N. O. Oh. So it is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, great. And let's open the next crayon. And the next crayon that we're gonna open gonna be the green one thing. So let's shake. And K, we have four letters here. One, two, three, and four. And let's go one by one. So this is letter V. V, V. So we need to place it on a board. And you can see here is the shape of letter V. So we can place it right here. Great. And the next one letter, we have letter X. X. So we need to place here. You see? X. Great. And the next letter, we have letter Y. And it goes right after the letter X. Right here. Great. And the next one letter, we have letter w and you can see already where we can place the letter w it goes right after letter v great here and let's go through the alphabet so we found the letter d e f m n o then v w x and y great we still need to find other letters for this alphabet so let's continue, and let's open the next crayon. And the next crayon that we're gonna open, gonna be the blue one. Great! And what we have here is letters. Oh, there is different letters, and also we have a puzzle piece. So let's start with the letters. So here we have letter J. K. So let's think where we should place on the board. Here we have the shape of the K. So let's place right here, and it's a yellow color. 
right? So this one leather is leather age. And let's see where we can put it. It goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. Great. And the next one leather we have letter G. And it's a violet color. The same color as letter O. So letter G goes here, right after the letter F. Like this. Great. And the next one letter we have letter J. And where we should place the letter J? You see it? H. This one is I. And the next one J. J. Great. And the next one letter we have is letter L. And it's a green color letter. So J was orange color. K was yellow color. G was violet color. And H was red color. And here we have letter L. 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 So it's a green color. And it goes right after letter K. You see J, K, and L. Great. We completing one by one the alphabet. So the next one, we have the letter I. And it's a red color. So the letter I, you see there's empty space for the letter I. And it's the sa same shape. So let's place here. Great. And let's go through the letters that we found. We found letter D. E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, V, W, X, Y. Great. And let's continue with our puzzle. And what we have here is the excavator. And let's try to assemble this. And let's go to our excavator puzzle right here. And let's see, here we can see that this is the wheels, and wheels are always at the bottom. So let's place like this, and the next one, we have a crane, I think it's a crane. So we can place right here, right with a star. And the next piece that we have is that red door, great, and we should place in the middle, so it's gonna connect the upper excavator part and the lower part. So here we have the bar that would connect the door with a wheel so we need to place like this great and the last one we have it's a cabin it's an orange color so we need to place like this great we've completed the excavator puzzle amazing and let's continue with our crayons and the next crayon that we're gonna pick gonna be the red one so let's paint and open Great, we have many things here. And let's start with the alphabet. So here we have that letter Q, letter P, and letter R. So let's move to the alphabet. And can you see where is the letter B? Can you see it? It's right after the letter O. Here it is, letter B. And it's a red color. And the next one we have letter Q. And where is letter Q? Can you see this one shape? Yes, with a small tail. Great, let's place. And the next one, lot right after the letter Q, we have letter R. So let's place like this. And let's go for the alphabet. So let's start. What letters we found? We found letter D, letter E, letter F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, V, W, X, Y. We still need to find missing letters, but we almost completed this alphabet. Great job. Then let's continue with the puzzle piece. And here we have, I think it's a ship, but let's look. Yeah, it seems to be a ship. So let's move those puzzle pieces to our ship puzzle board. And let's start. So, mm -mm. Let's start maybe with the body. Okay, with the front end. And let's place like this. Great. And the next one we're gonna take gonna be that cabin. And maybe the cabin should be at the top, right? Like this. And the next one we have is the body that's gonna connect our wheels. Okay, and let's turn around like this. And yes, it goes pretty well. And let's take the wheels, right? this maybe we should turn around again one more time 
Great! And the last one part is the window. We can place it. Yes, well done. Amazing. And we almost completed this puzzle. We completed already three puzzles with a ship, with the excavator, and with the spaceship. And we almost found all the missing letters. So let's go for the crayon. And the crayon that we have here is the brown one. So let's open. And here we have the letters. We have four letters. One, two, three, and four. And let's take the letter S. And let's turn around and see where we can place the letter S. Do you see the place where we can do it? Yes, it's here. Letter S, yellow color. And the next one letter, we have letter U. And it looks like a magnet. Okay, where we should place the letter U, can you see? Yes, it should go right here. Right? Great. And it's a green color letter. And the next one letter we have is a letter Z. Let's turn around. And it's an orange color. Where we should place this letter Z? Here. Great. And it's ending our alphabet. And the letter T. 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 Where we should place C, S. And then goes letter Yes, T. And it's a green color. Great! We almost completed our alphabet. And we have our last crayon. Let's shake. Open. Great! We have letters and we also have a puzzle piece. Airplane puzzle piece. So let's start with an airplane puzzle piece. And here you can see that we have a puzzle board where we can place our puzzle pieces. So here we have the left wing, right? So we need to place like this with a star. And here we have the right wing. Hmm, it doesn't seem to be a right wing. It seems to be a tail of the airplane. So let's place like this. And here we have a small right wing. Violet color also with the star. So let's place like this. Great. And the next one we have the... I think it's a cabin again. So we need to place at the top and connect with the wing. Great. Here we have a windows and a body of an airplane. So let's try to connect all together. And it's a really valuable piece because it connects all other pieces together. Great. And the last one is a propeller. So where we should place? Yes, in front. Great. Like this. And we completed the airplane puzzle. Congratulations. And we also have three letters. We have letter A, letter B, and letter C. Okay, let's take the letter A, and where we should place the letter A? The alphabet always starts with letter... Yes, A. Great, and it's a red color letter. And the next letter that we're gonna take gonna be the letter B. And after the A, which letter comes next? Yes, it's letter B. And it's an orange color. And the next one letter we have is letter C. And C letter is yellow color. So it is A, B, and C. Great, we've completed the alphabet. And let's go through the alphabet one more time. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, then Q, R, S, P, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Congratulations, we completed the alphabet and we also completed our puzzle. So we have the ship puzzle, we have the excavator puzzle, we have the spaceship puzzle that we completed and the last one puzzle that we've done was the airplane puzzle. Great, amazing, well done. See you in the next video. Hi kids. Look what we have today. We have a Mickey clock with numbers. That's a puzzle. Look. <laughs> with numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Woohoo! And we have a puzzle with a monkey boy. Woo! Oh, look, oh and oh, where have they gone? Where are they? Oh, 
Maybe. Can you hear it? I think there are definitely inside. Let's open these boxes and see what we have, and put onto our puzzles. From what color should we start? What do you think? We have green, blue, red, yellow, and pink. Which one do you want to open first? Hmm. Let's start with yellow. Ooh. Ooh. Look, let's have a look what we have. We have number 10. We have number 4. We have number 5. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 cubes. Uh, where we should be able to find a monkey. Oh, look, I see his leg. Ooh. Okay, let's put numbers into our clock first. Hmm. Where the number four should go? Maybe here? No. Maybe here? No. Oh, maybe here? Yes, look, it's number four, and it's four dots. One, two, three, four. Number four. Let's see when number ten should go. Maybe here? Maybe here? No. Maybe here. Oh, yes, look, number 10. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Yay. Well done. And let's put number 5. Where it should go. Maybe here. Maybe here. No. Let's see where we have 5 dots. Hmm. Oh, look. One, two, three, four, five. Yay! Number five goes here. And now, let's see where we can pull our monkey boy. I see his leg. Maybe it will be somewhere here. Then, I see some tree. Maybe it's this one, but I don't know where it should go. Let's leave it here for now. Then we have another part of a tree. And then we have... There is a giraffe. And it, it's a butterfly. I think it will be here in this corner. Of. Okay, let it, let's leave it here for now. Let's open the next box. Hmm, which one? Okay. Let's open the pink one. Ooh, sounds like there is a lot. Oh, oh. Only T cubes. And number eight. Wow. Let's find the place for number eight. Let's put it here. No. Maybe here. No. Oh, maybe here. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Well done. Eight dots and number eight goes here and we have two cubes look we have a face of monkey i think it will be somewhere here in the middle and the second part maybe something like this but i'm not sure let's lay it here for now let's open another box maybe it will give us more clues about our monkey puzzle. Okay, which one should we open? We only have three boxes left. Let's open this one, the red one. Are you ready? Whoa! Look, another two cubes and two numbers. 
Let's see what we have. We have number one. Okay, let's put number one. Maybe here? No. Maybe here? No. Let's see where we have number one dot. Oh, look. Number one. One dot number one goes here. Well done. And the next one, we have number six. Let's find the place for number six. Maybe here. Maybe here. No. Where is the six dots? Oh, look. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yay, six dots. Let's place it here. Well done. Woohoo! We nearly completed our clock. Let's see what tea tubes we have. Oh, look, it's a ladybug. I'm quite not sure. Let's leave it here for now. Maybe it's the tree. And let's have a look. Of this. Oh, look, it's a part of monkey. Maybe we can make it. Oh, yes. We have completed the first part of the puzzle. Okay. Hmm. What about this one then? Because this one not... Oh, maybe this? Wait, won't be. Hmm. Okay, let's leave it for now. I'm not sure about this one as well. Let's open another box. And I hope there will be more clues for our monkey puzzle. Which one? The blue or the green? The green one. Sounds like there is a lot. Whoa! Look how many cubes we have. And T numbers. We have number T and number 12. Let's start with number T. Where we wish it place it. Hmm. Maybe here. Maybe here. Look. One and T. Yes. Well done, number T. Now, let's find a place for number 12. Hmm. We have only one, two, three, four, five, five places left. Empty spaces. Maybe here. No. Maybe here. No. Oh, look, how many dots are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well done. Oh, look, we have another number. Number seven. Where's it going? Maybe here? Maybe here? Oh, look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yay! Number seven goes here. Well done. Okay, let's see what cubes we have. Oh, look. It's a body of a monkey. We can... We can put it here. Yes. Let's see what we have. We have another tree. But I don't think so. It's... It's going to be here. Well, it looks like it belongs here. I don't know. Okay. Let's see another puzzles. And then we'll come back to our monkey. Let's open the last box, and I hope there will be more clues for our monkey fuzzle. Whoa! Look how many cubes we have! Okay, let's start with numbers. What we have? We have number 9, number 3, and number 11. Let's start with number 9. Where we should place it? Maybe here? No, can we hear? No. Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
Eight and nine. Yes, number nine belongs here. Let's put number three now. We have on two spaces left. So where should we put it? Here or here? Let's try this one. No. Then it should be this one. One, two, three. Yes. Well done. Number three. And the last number, number 11, definitely goes here. But let's count the dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes. Well done. We have completed our clock. We have number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, number ten, number eleven, and number twelve. Well done. Now... Let's move on onto our monkey puzzle. We have another three cubes. Let's start with completing his body. Look, I see another part. It will go here, and the leg will go here. Woo! Now, look, we have a banana. The banana, I think, would go here yes well done now let's see we have a tree this tree is definitely from here i think it will be somewhere here let's leave it for now we need another part of the monkey let's try and see what we have no, no, no. Oh, look. The cloud. Oh, Jay, well done. Now let's see this one. Oh, look, another part of the monkey. Um, maybe, maybe here, maybe here. Oh, Jay, look, nearly completed it. Okay, what else we have? It's another tree. Oh, maybe it will go here. Or maybe here. Yay! Well done, guys. Look. Nearly completed it. Let's see this one. Oh, I see the part of the monkey. Look. I think it will go here. Uh, yay! Well done. We're nearly there. We have completed our monkey. Now we need to complete the, the hardest part is the tree. Which one do you think? Maybe it's... I don't know. Oh, look, I see the, the small part of the banana. And I think it will be here, definitely. Oh, yes, well done. Now we need to see the tree. Fin, I see the part of the cloud. Look, yes, it will be here. I okay, we only have one, two, three, four. Four cubes left. We should be able to complete this piece. Maybe this one will go here. No, maybe like this. Okay, I think this one will go like this. Looks like it. Like it belongs here. This one is definitely like this yes and we only have two puzzles left let's see oh look is the tree the leaves it looks like no uh, yes 
It looks like this. And the last one. It should be this one. Look. Yay! We have completed the monkey boy. Well done, guys. Without your help, it would be impossible. It was really hard. Because this puzzle has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16, 16 cubes. Wow. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for helping me to completing our clock. The Mickey clock. And our monkey puzzle. Without your help, it would be impossible. See you next time. Bye-bye. And today we're gonna solve the panda puzzle. We're gonna play with the panda puzzle. So here we have the panda that's holding the bamboo. And right here we have rainbow. That's right. And look at this panda. She's looked pretty happy about it. So let's get started. So the first puzzle that we're gonna solve gonna be the panda puzzle. This one, so we need to find a panda. But how are we gonna do this? The first step gonna be to rotate those cubes and try to find a panda. So let's start with first cube. Can you see the panda? Can you see the panda? Let's... Can you see the panda here? No, there is no panda. Okay, let's leave it aside. Let's try next one. Can you see the panda? Can you see the panda? No! Let's try next one. So we need to rotate them and try to find the panda, right? So the panda colors are white with black. Okay, so this one cube also doesn't have any panda. Okay, the next one. Does this have the panda? Can you see the panda? Can you see the panda? Tell me if you see the panda. Yes! Here is the panda. Great! So let's place it here at the moment, right? And let's take the next one. Let's rotate. Can you see the panda here? Can you see the panda? Let me know, please, if you see the panda. Let me know. Yes, here is the panda. Great, let's leave it here. And the next one that we're gonna have... Again, let's try to find the panda. Can we see the panda? Here is the ear of the panda, can you see? Here is the ear of the panda. Okay, let's leave it here. And the next one, again, let's rotate. Can you see the panda here? No. Let's rotate this way. And then let's rotate this way. And see, no, there is no panda. The next one, cube. Let's take it and rotate. Let's see if there is the panda. Mm -hmm. Does this is the ear of the panda? Yes, this is the ear of the panda here. Okay, great. Then let's put it here on the puzzle board. Let's take the next one and rotate. So what we are doing, we're rotating the cube and trying to see if we can identify any panda parts, right? So let's rotate. Can you see the panda? Can you see the panda? No, okay, let's put it aside. Next one. Can you see the panda? Can you see the panda? Let's try this way. Can you... Is this is the panda? No. This is the koala. Okay, but we need a panda. Can you see the panda? Is this is the panda? Let's look at our image. It's holding the bamboo. Yes, this is the panda puzzle piece. Okay, let's... Like, place it on the puzzle board. And then, let's rotate. Can you see the panda? Can you see the panda? <laughs> let's rotate this way. Can you see the panda? No. Okay, let's leave it aside. Then the next one. Can you see the panda? <laughs> Can you see the panda? Let's rotate another way. Okay. Oh, there is no panda here. Can see it. Okay, let's leave it. The next one. Can you... Is this is the panda? Hmm. But let's rotate and see if there is any other pieces. 
No, this is, this is actually the panda with the balls. You can see here is the balls, a left leg and the right, and here is the left leg and the right. Okay, let's take this one here and the next one. Let's rotate. And can you see the panda? Maybe some part of the panda. Maybe the lack of the panda. Can you see the lack of the panda? Yes, here is the lack of the panda. Let's look at our image. And here you see it. Here is the part of the lack of the panda. Here is the rainbow, right? So it's the same. Great. Let's take to our puzzle board. And the next one. Okay, here we have the bee. Here we have, who is that? Do you know who is that? Tell me please, who is this? You know it. It's Panda, nice job. Great. And the last one piece, gonna be this one. Let's try to find the Panda. Can it see any Panda? Okay. Here is the Panda, great, with the bamboo. Amazing. Let's look at this puzzle board, so we found the puzzle pieces where we can see the panda, right? And here we have another puzzle piece that will later gonna help us to finish the puzzle. Okay, so here we have the left eye of the panda and this one is right eye of the panda. So let's combine them. You see, here we have the face with the nose and the smile. The next one, what we're gonna take gonna be the body of the panda or maybe the ears of the panda that's gonna help us let's look at our image and let's look at this face okay so here's the face here is the ears right so we can combine them maybe together like this mm. it doesn't work well right so maybe this ear should be mostly on the left like this and this one here Okay, let's leave it like that. And the next one that we're gonna try to find gonna be the body of the panda. So here is the bamboo and the hands of the panda. So let's try place it here like that. Trade it comes along really well. Okay, and the next one that we need gonna be the balls of the panda so maybe let's try to place them here like this okay and the next one that we're gonna try to find maybe gonna be this one so here is the bamboo and here is the bamboo like this Boom. seems to be all right okay and let's try maybe to turn around them like this Try this, and then turn around this one. Great, well done. We almost have the panda here. Amazing. So, and the next one that we're gonna take gonna be the bottom part of the panda. Hmm, it seems to be the right way. Okay. And here's the part of the lag that we found earlier. So let's place it right here. Great, so we completed the panda, but we still need to complete the wall puzzle. And if we look at the image here, we have the rainbow. Okay, so let's try to find the rainbow. So can you see the rainbow? Here is the rainbow, and here is the rainbow. Let's take this too. Let's turn around others. Can you see the red? Here is the part of the rainbow. Let's, next one. Can you see the rainbow? Yes, no, oh, okay, but this one seems to me like a part of the panda ear, and here's the bamboo. Let's also leave it like this. Then let's turn around and see if there's the rainbow. No, there is no, here's again the bamboo. Okay, great. Is there is the rainbow or maybe bamboo? Can you see the bamboo? Hmm, is this is a bamboo, what do you think? Yes, correct. Okay, so, and the last one is... Hmm. Let's try it again to rotate and see. There is the rainbow. Hmm. I think this is the part of the rainbow, and here is the part of the tail of the panda. Great. Okay, so right now we have found 
other pieces that we need to combine. Okay, so first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna use our rainbow, right? And we're gonna rotate like this. And then we're gonna place. Then we're gonna take another piece with the rainbow. And we're gonna... Hmm, should we place it here? No. We should place it here. Great. And then another piece, but we need to rotate it. Maybe like this, what do you think? Mm, doesn't work well. So maybe it should go on other side. And then we rotate. And here we have the panda. Great. And then another. Let's try to take another piece with a rainbow. Here, another piece with a rainbow. And place it. Great. Well done. So here's another part of the rainbow. So it should go somewhere here, right? It's not afraid. And here is another part of the ear. And where we have the ear, so it's from the left ear. So should we place like this? What do you think? Yes. Great. Amazing. And then we have another lost puddle piece. But this one we need to rotate to make it right. Okay, this doesn't work. Let's rotate again. And yes. We've completed the panda puzzle. Amazing. So, let's continue with the next one puzzle. And today we're gonna learn about numbers and the colors. And also we're gonna solve the elephant puzzle. Okay, let's start. Oh, what we've done, we've made a mess. And right now we need to find the blue elephant and the numbers. Okay, let's start. So first of all, let's clean up our puzzle board, okay? So let's start with the numbers. So this is number one. So we need to find the number one. Can you say the number one? Yes, here it is. Number one. Great. And we need one wheel here. So let's try to find it. Okay, here it is. One wheel. Let's put it. Great. And number one is red color. And the wheel is also red color. Great. Let's continue with the number two. So we need to find it. Can you see the number two? Yes, here it is. It's number two. And it's also red color. Okay, let's place it on our board like this. Okay, and then let's try to find two red wheels. Here they are. Great, let's take them and let's put one and two. So we have two number, number two, and it is red color. So one and two. Great. So the next number that we need to find is number three. Can you see the number three? Yes, here it is, the number three. Let's take the number three. And put it on a board. Here. Okay, so one, two, and three. And we need to find three wheels. And it is yellow color. Okay, so let's grab them. And one, two, and three. Great. And the number three is yellow color. And the wheels are also yellow color. Okay, let's continue. So the next number that we need to find is number four. And can you see the number four? Yes, here it is, number four. Okay, and it is green color, number four. And where we should place the number four, can you see the shape? Here is the number four, so let's count one, two, three, and four great and then let's take the wheels so we have four wheels one two three and the last one four great well done and the next one that we're gonna pick gonna be the number five can you see the number five here is the number five correct well done and number five is blue color. Okay, so let's place it on a board here. Well done. And let's count one, two, three, four, and 
Five. And right now we need to find five wheels. Okay, let's try to find them. We need to find blue wheels. So here is one, two, three, four, and five. Let's take them. And let's place it on the board. A one, then two, then three, four, and the last one, five. Great. Okay. And the next one number that we have is number six. And can you see the number six? So if we're going to look at this one, this is number six. Great. Let's take the number six and let's place it right after the number five. Right here. Great. And let's then take the six the pink wheels. So let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Well done. So it's a pink color number six. Let's continue with the number seven. So can you see the number seven on this board? Here is the number seven, right? Great. And the number seven is orange color. So let's place it like this. And then let's take the orange wheels. So we need all the orange wheels. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna count together. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Well done. And the next one gonna be the number eight. So let's take the number eight. Here is the number eight. And let's place it on the board. Right after the number seven. Well done. And the number eight is blue color. So we need to find blue wheels. Can you see the blue wheels? So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So let's put them on the pole next to that number eight. So let's do it together. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the last one, eight. Well done. So we only left with two numbers. So the next number, you know it. What's the number next one? After the eight, it's number nine. Okay, great. So here we have the number nine. So let's put it right here and it's a pink color number nine so let's take the pink wheels so here we have all the pink wheels right so let's take them and let's count one two three four five six seven eight and the last one nine well done and then the next number that we're gonna take gonna be the last one number 10 so here's the number 10 and here we have the number 10 violet color so let's put it here great and let's take all that violet wheels and put them on the pole okay so let's count together one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Well done, we've completed the numbers board, so we can continue with solving the puzzle. So we need to find the elephant, and first of all, let's find the Let's look at the blue color of the puzzle. So here is the blue color. So when we try to find the blue color, we put it away like this. And let's look at the, is it the blue color? Yes. So let's put it here. Then, can you see the blue color? Is this a blue color? Yes. Okay. Is this a blue color, this one? Yes. Okay, great. Then, Let's look, do we have other any blue colors? Here is the blue color, right? 
but let's turn around again. Oh, there is another blue color, and this is the part of the elephant, the ear. Okay, here is another one. Blue color, then the elephant nose. And then let's turn around again. Can we see the blue color? No. Okay, can we see here? Blue color. Great. Let's turn around again and see if there is a blue color. No. Same blue color. No. Yes, here is the ear of the elephant. Okay, so at the moment, we found enough of the pieces to, to connect them together and try to solve the elephant puzzle. So let's start with the face. So the face consists of ears and noses. So here is the ear. And here is another ear. So here's the part of the eye also, right? So then we have a nose of the elephant like this, right? And here we have a lax. So let's think, is it goes well? No. So let's maybe try this one. Yes. And then put this after, after the lax. Next one, right? So it almost kind of starting to see the full picture here. But we still need some uh, puzzles to find. So maybe let's try to place this one here, right? And then another one gonna be the tail of the elephant here. Okay, so like this. So right now we found the puzzles that we could connect and we need to find new ones. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try to turn around and see if there is a image of the elephant or maybe some kind of like a hint, right? Then let's turn around this one. Can we see? Okay, here is the blue color and the cloud and the elephant, right? So let's place it here. Let's turn around this. Oh, here is the leg of the elephant, right? So we right away can place it down here, right? So let's turn around another one and see. Can you see maybe elephant, maybe part of the elephant? No. Okay, let's let's place it away. So there is another part. Oh, I can see here the part of the elephant. And I think it's the body of the elephant. Let's put it here. So let's then take the next one. So turn around. Can we see the part of the elephant? Yes, here is the ear of the elephant. And here is the tree. So maybe we can turn around like this and place right here. Great. We still need to find some pieces, but we almost done. Great job. So I can, I think this is the head of the elephant and, and we can place it here, connect with this one. Great. Let's turn around again, this one and see the we. Okay, here's the flowers, right? And here we can see on the puzzle piece here is also the flowers right so what we can do we can try to place right now this pieces together you see great so the next one we have is the mountain right and here we have a tree so uh let's try to find a tree so maybe it's this one no it doesn't go here well it's not that tree that we need so maybe let's try this one, because here is the small part of the elephant also. Yes, great job. And then let's take the ear. Here's the ear of the elephant. Yes. So we only need to turn around this puzzle piece to try to solve it. Okay, here it is. Right like this. Great. So we solved the elephant puzzle and... It was not that easy, but we accomplished it. Great, well done. And we also learned about the numbers. So we learned about number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, and number 10. Great, well done. See you in the next video. Today, we're gonna solve the mama zebra and the baby zebra so let's start oh where did the puzzles go and we have beautiful crayons so we're gonna pick 
this gray and the red one first, and we're gonna open it. Okay, let's do it. Wow, we have the puzzles, the cubes, and the puzzle bit, but we also have the number. So let's start with the number. This is the number six. Okay, let's place it here, the number six. And let's look at those puzzle pieces. So, we have cubes. Which one of this belong to the cubes? Where we should place the cubes? Here or here? Do you remember when we started? Exactly, here we can place the cubes. Great. And here we have the puzzle pieces. Where we should place the puzzle pieces? If we have he cubes here, then we can place puzzle pieces here. Great. First, we're gonna find the puzzle pieces and also the numbers, and then we're gonna try to solve them one by one. So let's open this one. Oh, we have two numbers and puzzle pieces, so let's start with the numbers. So here we have number four, and it's a green color. So we're gonna place the number four here, and between number four and six, we have number five so it's a blue color so four five six great let's look at those puzzle pieces so here we have cubes where we should place the cubes here or here yes we should place the cubes here so let's do it like this and then we're gonna take the puzzle pieces and let's look where we should place them we should place them here great let's leave it like this and let's open the next crayon and the next round that we're gonna open, gonna do the blue one. So let's shape, and... Wow, so many things we have here. We have numbers and puzzles, so let's start with the numbers. So here we have number, you know it, it's number seven, and it's an orange color. So number seven goes right after the number six. Great, so I have four, five, six, and seven. Okay, and here we have number two. And number two is red color. So let's try to place it where we should place. Yes, because between two and four, there is number three. But we still need to find it. Okay, and the next one number we have is number nine. Great. And where we should place the number nine? Exactly, it should go right here. Because between seven and nine, there is... Also, number eight that we need to find. Okay, let's move to the puzzles. So here we have these puzzles. And where should we place them? Should we place in this puzzle board or this puzzle board? Yes, we should place them here. And then we should do it like this. We have the cubes, four cubes, one, two, three, and four. And where we should place them? Here or here? Can you see the cubes? Yes, we should place the cubes here. Great. Okay. So let's open the next crayon. And the next round that we're gonna open, we're gonna be that pink one. Oh, what we have here? We have here again, two numbers. So here we have number eight, the blue color. And let's see where we can place the number eight. Can you see the place? Yes, the number eight goes right after the number seven, like this. So we have a seven, eight, nine. Okay, and here, what we have number three, and it is yellow color. And where we should place the number three? Exactly. Two and three. Great. So let's count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Great. And let's go with the puzzle. So here we have three puzzles let's count one two and three and where we should place them we have here this type of puzzles and here we have cubes yes it should go to cubes so let's place them like this and then let's look at this puzzle so we here have here two puzzle pieces one and two so we need to place them at this board right great and we only left with the last crayon the yellow one Let's open. Wow. Here we have the number 10 and the number 1. Okay. And where we should place the number 1? Let's look at the numbers. Where we should place the number 1? 
It should go here because it's always stars with number one. And number one is red color. Great. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the last one. Yes. Ten. Great. We've completed all the numbers and we've learned how to count them. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great. And let's look at those cubes. So here we have three cubes, right? And let's place them right here. Okay, so we found all the pieces to solve this puzzle, right? So then let's take these three puzzle pieces and just place them here like this. Great. So let's start with the most difficult one, right? So what we need to find here is the zebra. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna rotate those cubes one by one. Let's do it together. So let's find the zebra. Oh, here is the zebra face. Great, let's place it on the board. And then, let's take the next one. So the next one, and then be this one. Okay, let's start. Oh, here's the part of the zebra that what we need. And then the next one. Let's turn around. Do we see the zebra? Is this the zebra? Yes, correct. And then the next one. Let's rotate. And what we have here, the tail of the zebra and the black stripes and the white ones. Great. And then the next one. Here we have the lack of the zebra. Great. And let's find, can you see here in the zebra? Can you see the zebra? Yes, here is the lacks of the zebra. Great. And then the next one. This one. Let's turn around. Can you see the zebra? Yes, it is here with the rainbow. Great, let's place it on a board. And then the next one. Can you see here the zebra? Can you see the zebra? Ha, I don't think there is the zebra right now, so let's place it away. And then another one. Do we see the zebra? Can you see the zebra and the black stripes and the white ones? Yes, it is here. Can you see the small part? So we're gonna place on a board like this. Okay, and the next one gonna be the another cube. Can you see the zebra here? Can you see the zebra? And yes, here is the zebra. Great, let's place it on a board. And then another one. Can you find the zebra? Can you find the zebra? Yes. Where it is? Where it is? Where it should stop? Yes, it's this here. Here's the zebra leg. Great! We almost found every piece. So let's continue. Let's try to rotate. Can you see the zebra? Let's do it again. Can you see the zebra? Yes, here is the zebra smiling. Okay. And then let's do it again. Let's see, can you spot the zebra? Can you spot the zebra? Can you see the zebra? Yes, it is here. Trade. Amazing. Well done. And then the next one. What we have here? Can we spot the zebra? Let's do it again. Can we spot the zebra? Yes, yes. Where it is? Here's the zebra. See the small part. That's what we need. Okay, great. Let's place it somewhere here. Okay, and then let's take the next one. Let's rotate. Can we find the zebra? Can we see it? It is. Can you see the zebra? It is here. Yes, correct. Nice. And then the next one. Can we see the zebra? Is there is the zebra? I don't see the zebra. So can you see? Maybe can you spot the zebra? No, let's put it away. So we have to... Puzzle pieces where we couldn't find the zebra, but let's leave them for now. So here we have all the puzzle pieces that contains the zebra. And right now we need to combine them. So let's start with the face. So here we have the face of the zebra. So let's put it away like this. And here we have the face of the zebra. Let's connect them together like this. Okay, great. Then maybe place somewhere in the middle. And then let's maybe continue with the rainbow right so let's start with the rainbow so here we have the rainbow and here goes the rainbow right so we need to find the correct puzzle piece that would work with this okay hmm this one doesn't work so maybe this one let's try maybe like this what do you think no it doesn't work 
so maybe like this. What do you think? Yes, it works pretty well. What we have next one is the body of the zebra. Can you see the small part of the rainbow? Yes, correct. Well done. And then another thing. So here's the tree, the rainbow, and the zebra. Can we do it? Yes. Let's let's try. Let's see. Does it works well? Hmm. Seems pretty off. So maybe if we're gonna place it here, and then we need to find something in between. Right? So let's take another part of the zebra, and maybe let's this time take the body. And can you see? Yes, we connected the body with the zebra. And then we have a tail. And here you can see we have a tree and the part of the tail. So maybe if we're gonna connect them like this, it's gonna work. Yes. Great. And then another one could be... Hmm, which one we should take? Again, the rainbow. We should start with the rainbow because it's always helps us out when we start to combine those puzzle pieces, right? So on the next one, the legs. There is a lot of legs, so let's start with the legs. Mm -hmm. And what we should do? So here's the part of the tail. Here is the part of the tail. So let's do it like this. Great! Well done! Okay, and then another one could be maybe here in the middle. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe do it like this. What do you think? You do think is it right? Yes. Okay, great job. And then the next one, we're gonna take this one. Where we should place it? Hmm, maybe here? No, maybe let's try here. Yes. And we need to find here the legs. So we just go through the legs. Maybe this one. No. Let's try maybe place this here. Like this. Great. And then, let's take another one and... Hmm, maybe like that one. Great, it worked pretty well. And here's the small part of the zebra, right? And here we have the zebra, the bushes, and the rainbow. So let's try it. Fit it in here. Yes, well done. So we almost completed the zebra puzzle, the most difficult one, and you've done it pretty quickly. So we have two puzzle pieces. Okay, so let's maybe try to find the rainbow. Can you see the rainbow? Yes, here's the rainbow with the cloud. So let's try to place it here, like this. Great, and what we need to find is the tree with the flowers. So let's turn. Can you see the tree with the flowers? Can you see the tree with the flowers? Can you see the tree with the flowers? Yes, it is here, right, correct. You picked it right. And done, we've completed that. Mama zebra, amazing. So it's all done. So let's place it away and start with a baby zebra, right? So we have a lot of puzzle pieces here. And we need to combine them together to get the, this image here. So we have here the picture of the baby zebra. So maybe what we should do, we should start with the corner pieces. So we need to find the corner pieces. Is this a corner piece? Can you look at this? Yes, it has two sides that connect together. So it's a corner piece. And where we do have the flower. Here is the flower. Right here, right, and here is, and we also have the flower. So we're gonna move it at this corner, right. And we're gonna make it the next one. So the next one gonna be another corner piece. And then we're gonna look at this, and then we're gonna look at the image. Yes, and then we're gonna look, yes, right. And then we're gonna take the next puzzle piece to this one. What we're gonna do, we're gonna look at the image. Where we see the rock? Can you see the rock? Yes, and then we're gonna move it down. And then we're gonna connect. And then the next one we're gonna take, gonna be, again, the bottom part, right? So we're trying to connect the, all the bottom parts. So let's move it down, like this, and connect. Great, we've done the bottom part. So let's try to do that top part, this one, right? So we're gonna take the corner piece, and let's look. Where's the discord? Yeah, it's on the left side, right? And then other side, we have the hat of the zebra. So we need to find two puzzle pieces that would connect. So it's a side puzzle piece. So as you can see on the image, we have the tail. And here we have the tail. So let's try to connect. And yes, well done. And then the next one, we're gonna be, gonna be the ears of the zebra. And let's try and push it. And great. 
so we only need to find the middle middle pieces okay so middle pieces we need to take the tail and the body and connect them together like this great and then another one we have the zebra mouth that's smiling on the right side great and then we have the other part of the zebra and the tail here great and then another one okay so we're gonna rotate and press great we've completed the zebra puzzle and the mama zebra amazing and we also found the numbers so all of the numbers that we found and we've completed this in no time and pretty quick well done see you in the next video thank you kids bye see you next time don't forget to subscribe